What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you five things you need to know about automation lanes and reason. Just going to play what I have so far. All right, pretty cool experimental thing I'm working on. First things first, I would like to automate this filter cutoff right here. So uh, in order to do this, I can do a few things. I can right click edit the automation and it will show up down here or alternatively if I have door selected in the sequencer I can click on this drop down automation and I can find that filter it's filter 3 and filter 3 frequency and I can do it that way as well so I'm gonna draw in a clip maybe pick a color that's a little bit easier to see great and now I'm going to draw in some automation. I would like it to kind of pulse in this area right here. So I'm going to click and create a point. Then I'm going to hold down option and I'm going to drag up to make a square. So let's hear that. I actually want it shorter than that. So I'm going to bring these two points whoops so like both of them bring these two to the left we can use this if I can't see and I would like to duplicate that over one more time but rather than duplicate it it might sometimes be faster to just draw on the point click that got my pen tool holding down option drag up within this area if you don't mess up like me cool got that and then I'll just move it up to the top value this might still be hard to see because I can't see it ha all right that's a little better all right cool so I like that but I feel like it's too abrupt and I want it to bend a little bit more. So easy fix for that. If I delete these points here, I can now add a curve to what's happening. And let's hear what this sounds like. So I definitely like it better with the curve. Gonna take this and uh, duplicate it over and now I have that duplicated so one how to create automation with the rack extension two is how to do the squares you hold down option or alt on a windows and how to do the curves third I'm going to show you how to automate in a VST here I have a basic square wave lead and I would like to automate the LFO amount which is modulating the volume so two ways I can do this I can right click on it so the way that you would do it is by clicking on the automate plus button and then you click the parameter then it will create an automation lane for you alternatively you can do just like you did with the rack extension. This could be messy depending on which rack extension, or sorry, VST you're using. Some things might not show up. Group one LFO amount. It could also be weird random names. Some LF, some uh, VSTs aren't as straightforward as this one, so look out for for that complication. Otherwise, like I said, pressing this button and then pressing this will allow you to automate as well. Zooming in. Make this color something easier for me to see. All right. Now let's figure out where I would like this automation to come in. I'm thinking about here, gonna grab that pen tool, gonna hold down alt so I can draw a square.
maybe bring it down just a little bit. Alright, I want to do it again here. Alt tool, Alt button. And I actually want to modulate the speed on this part. So I'm going to grab the rate right here and also modulate this. Um, I accidentally right clicked it. Just ignore that. Uh, let's go ahead and automate this as well. Rate. So now our rate is up here. Can make that longer later. And let's draw in some automation for the rate on this part. It says 48% here. Um, I would like it to switch to... going to match the 48 percentage. Just type it in. Then push this back. Move this down. I love it. Zooming out. Then I'll just duplicate this over. And I got my automation for my rack extension and my VST. The last thing I would like to show you is curve automation. So if I were to do something crazy, whoops, like let's say take the filter frequency cut off, which isn't too crazy, but you know, uh, create an automation lane for this. Draw that in. Pen tool and do something like that, right? Now, I can clean up this automation if you ever have any kind of crazy automation that you drew in freehand. I can clean this up. You can clean this up. F8 or go to the tool window. Window tool window and right here it says automation cleanup you can hit normal medium heavy or maximum now I have all of these nodes selected so let's try maximum and it cleaned it up for us so if I draw something like this for example see it already kind of cleans up automatically but selecting all of those if you don't already have them selected and selecting one of these parameters will allow you to clean it up even more. So have fun automating. Let me know what you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe. It's all culture. Kick back and cook up.